everyone, this is Diane. I am on my way to run an errand and I decided that I, well, I'll go ahead and give you guys an update on what's going on. It seems like the car is the only place that I can make videos this past week and the week and a half that I've been having. So I'm on my way to run a quick errand, but I did want to give you guys an update on my son's surgery. Thank you so much for all the kind comments that were left when I mentioned what had happened and what's going to be occurring and with his surgery and all. He did have his surgery on Monday, it was at 1.30 in the afternoon. Because the surgery was so late in the afternoon, he had to stay the night. So I stayed in the hospital with him. Oh my goodness, he, people get no rest at the hospital at night, none whatsoever. You know, they turn on the lights like if you've been wide awake and it's just poor people in the hospital. I feel so bad for them. And I know because about two or three years ago, I had my gallbladder removed and I had the worst time at the hospital. It's just so much better when you're at home. But anyway, um, he was discharged yesterday and uh, he was able to come home yesterday. We were home by three o'clock. And by the time I was able to fill his prescriptions because that was a whole headache in itself, uh, his prescriptions were filled. He was home, you know, centralized in his recliner. Thank God he has a recliner in his room because he has to have that leg elevated. And um, he's been doing pretty good. I mean, pain level, he's heavily medicated. He keeps taking, you know, we have to give him pain pills so he doesn't feel the pain. Because the doctor assured us that it was a very painful procedure, especially since it was the worst break he has seen, he said, in a long time. He has plates, he has uh, screws in there. Poor kid. But everything went well. Um, the surgery was very nerve-wracking for me. Anytime anybody goes under anesthesia, it just gets so nerve-wracking. And then, you know, they cut cut you open and is your body going to react well with what they put in there? So, thank God it's over because I was not feeling well. I was feeling sick, anxious, and thank God I'm able to make this video and give you guys a great update. Um, I haven't been doing much shopping, even though I've been wanting to go to TJ Maxx and Marshalls to find all the goodies so many people have been finding. I'm hoping I can go sometime this weekend. I'm hoping, but shopping right after Thanksgiving, I'm not sure if it's a great idea. But anyway, just quickly wanted to give you guys a real quick update. Things are going well. Um, I haven't had much time to do anything and I have yet to make it to the post office and I apologize and I know that the people that are waiting for the, the yeah, the people that are waiting for the packages, I know I totally understand, and but I feel so bad, so, so bad, but they are going to be going out Friday now, because Tuesday I was at the hospital the entire day, and by the time I got prescriptions filled and finally got home, it was already like 6 o'clock, so, and then I just passed out, I was so tired, but packages will be going out Friday, ladies, a million apologies, you guys probably don't ever want to win anything from me again, but I'm usually not this bad, I promise. I'm pretty bad, I procrastinate, but not this bad. So a million apologies. And um, that's it, ladies. Just wanted to give you guys an update. And I am hoping that I can maybe stop in at TJ Maxx or Marshalls and uh, see what I can find there. Hopefully, my biggest thing is I want to find those, oh my goodness, beautiful wood veneers that people are finding. Okay, guys, well, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And just keep an eye out for my next video. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.